Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be wiring up a duplex receptacle. That's two normal receptacles into one box. Let's dig in and find out how to do it. Let's start off by looking at what parts we need. So I purchased this duplex receptacle cover. I'm going to be using a metal box, so I'm going to use this metal cover. So to mount this up, we're going to start by wiring these two outlets together and mount them on this cover plate, and then we're going to mount the whole assembly on our box. We have four tabs on the four corners of the outlets here that need, need to be broken off. We're going to have these outlets poking through the face of the cover there, and those tabs won't allow the outlets to mount how they need to be. So let's go ahead and break those off. The next thing we need to take off are these screws here, these mounting screws that would normally allow us to mount the receptacle into a regular plastic box. We're going to start by wiring these two outlets together, and then we're going to take it over to our box, wire it to our incoming line voltage, and then mount these to the cover plate before we mount the whole assembly to the box itself. Let's start by wiring these together. To do that, we're going to find a couple pieces of just regular Romex wire. In this case, we're using 14 gauge because it's just going to be for a light, uh, lightweight circuit. We'll strip the wire off of one end. We're going to strip uh, about an inch off and then figure out how long we need it to be. Uh, I'm gonna say about there, about, about four inches should do. We don't really need much and any extra is really just gonna get in the way. So we have a short piece of wire with the insulation stripped off each end. We're gonna bend this around to go on our screw terminal. This is black, so it's going to be for the hot side. In this case, that's represented by our gold wires, rather our gold terminals. All right, so I can stick that on there and screw that in place. And I can make sure everything's oriented properly. I can bend that around and put a, another hook in this wire to go around the next screw terminal. Then we're going to turn to our neutral wire and again we'll strip about an inch off the end. We will feed about four inches through, cut that, and then strip about an inch off the other end. Then we can bend a crook in our wires. That one's going to be there. And then that one is going to be the reverse. Now remember when you're bending a hook in your wires to go around a screw terminal, you always want to have it curl around in the direction that the screw tightens. So I'm going to hook that around there and I'm going to tighten this screw righty tighty to the right. And so I'm going to make that hook. So it draws the bare copper wire into the terminal instead of trying to push it out. If I put it on the other way, it would tighten somewhat, but really it would try to push that wire out of underneath the screw. So in this, by doing this, we have a nice solid connection. Alrighty. We can go ahead and connect it up to our neutral over here. If I can fight it enough to get it in there. There we go.
All right, so this is what it looks like on the back. We have hot jumping to hot, neutral jumping to neutral. I'm also gonna wire up the ground. To do that, again, we're just gonna take a length of bare ground wire, put a hook in it. We're gonna secure it to our ground terminal here. jump it over and again we're just going to loop it around and then tighten that down and on the ground wire you can see I'm leaving the long tail that way it'll be easy to join in to our ground wire coming in from the feed line. There we go. Let's take this assembly over to our box, mount it on the wall, and wire in the incoming feed line. I already mounted the box to the wall, and I ran a length of wire coming into the box from another outlet. Let's go ahead and strip this Romex insulation off and expose the conductors inside. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these wires just a little bit shorter, just so there's you know about three, four inches sticking out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and strip the insulation off of both the hot and the neutral wires. Again, we're going to strip off about an inch. And I can grab my outlet assembly and figure out which way I need to bend the hooks in here. This one, the neutral, I need to bend down. And the hot, I'll need to bend up. There we go. I'm going to start by joining the grounds together just to get those out of the way. I'm going to trim that off a little bit shorter and I'll just bring these two together and twist a wire nut on there. Then I can kind of stuff that to the back of the box. Turn my attention to hot and the neutral. The neutral will just slip around that screw terminal and we can tighten that down. And the hot, we can do the same. I'll need a pair of needle nose to Twist that around and get it exactly in place. There we go. Now that everything's wired in place, we can mount the receptacles to the cover plate. The cover plate comes with four machine screws and nuts that secure through these tabs into these holes, the four you see here. Now we can remove the two screws on opposite corners of our metal box and go ahead and use those to secure the whole assembly to the box. It's really that simple. If you enjoyed this short tutorial and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about future videos just like this one. We'll see you next time.